Welcome to the world of glamper vanning. This is the Mercedes Marco Polo, and if you like, it's the first serious contender to Volkswagen's California that's had the upmarket camper van sector to itself pretty much for all these years. Come and have a look inside at this. It's not just Mercedes build qualities on the outside, it's Westphalia's quality inside that really makes this uh, such a glamorous camper van. Um, there's lots of good quality plastic mouldings, neat little blinds, loads of detail touches everywhere you look in fact, um, nice switch gear and everything else. And the one thing it does make for also is a rattle free ride. So it really is premium stuff. Now we're only going 30 miles an hour at the moment, but it's, um, as you can hear, it's super quiet, this engine, and I, I can tell you it's the same pretty much up to our legal maximum as well. And the great thing about this conversion is it's just not a rattle to it. Um, so that makes for a much more relaxed drive all round. It's only a 2.1 litre engine, but this is the optional upgrade. It gives you a best part of 190 brake horsepower and um, allied to the seven speed automatic transmission, it's just a real genuine pleasure to drive this vehicle. If I could nitpick ever so slightly, I'd say the front pillars are very thick. So you need to be a little bit careful with your view out at certain junctions. The equipment levels are absolutely stupendous. I know this has extras fitted to it, but there's electrical everything really here. There's a fantastic display for your sat nav. Corners really well as well, especially by motorhome standards. Switch gear for everything. Everything's easy to hand, easy to control, and your hand's soon back on the steering wheel. Nice leather clad steering wheel, just adds to the comfort. And there's controls on the wheel itself as well. And uh, it just makes it all such a joy to drive. Here we are in daytime mode, and um, yeah, you'll get four in here. It's a bit of a squeeze, of course, but this is a camper van after all. So you swivel both the cab seats and then two people can sit on the back seat. And then there's this really neat little table that you'll recognize from Volkswagen's California that slides across and sets up on its single leg. And it's a sturdy bit of kit. True to its form, it's a four berth and you've got a choice, two double beds. Um, for my money, the better double bed is upstairs on a one-piece mattress with uh, Froley supports. But down here is a, a pretty good-sized double as well. And just to make sure you're not sleeping on the leather upholstery, Mercedes provide this mattress topper. It's a, it's a basic camper van kitchen, but you, you're not going to cook a la carte meals in something like this. What you do get though, two, two gas rings, perfect for pasta and sauce, something like that. Perfect for a cup of tea anytime you feel like it. And a little sink that's handy nearby as well with a cold water supply. And I don't personally think you really need hot water as well. Just boil it in the kettle. Storage is actually pretty good in, in these units because you've got nice slide out, easy action drawers. This is a cutlery tray. Soft close action there. There's a big drawer here as well. Another drawer there. And, and this unit slides open. You can actually remove the shelf here. And if you wanted, you could probably put a portable toilet in, which would be the sum of your washroom facilities. There's a really good array of lighting in here as well. So you won't struggle at night. Uh, there's individually switched units along each side. Uh, two paddle lights for the bed up the top there, two little spotlights for reading if you're in bed down below, and front light here and a nice little switch here for some ambient lighting at floor level. So all round, the lighting I say is really very good in here. So as you can see, that this is a real premium camper van, but you do pay the price for it. <laughs> 